Okay, so here's the thing. Um, now that you know enough to make your very own exact duplicate copy of a Peggle game, um, don't do it. You know, one of my fears is that next weekend I'm going to log on to Congregate and I'm going to find 20 new games on there that are all exactly copies of Peggle. And, you know, that's not really something I'm interested in seeing. I'm making these tutorials partly because I would like to see more physics-y games out there, not more physics-y games that are just like Peggle. And, you know, I mean, if you make a game that's an exact copy of another game, it's not really going to win you um, honors and prestige among the casual gaming world. Uh, however, if you were to take a known mechanic and add a twist to it, that's kind of another story. And uh, so for an example of this, let's take a look at another well-known PopCap game. Maybe you've heard of it, Bejeweled. Now, when Bejeweled first came out several years ago, it was quickly followed by lots of other games that were pretty much just like Bejeweled, except that instead of gems, they had um, different kinds of gems. And, you know, the market kind of got flooded with these for a while, until one day, uh, some guys over at iWin came out with a game called Jewel Quest. And the mechanic of this game is almost exactly like Bejeweled, but it had one very important twist to it which is that the way you won this game wasn't by reaching a particular score, it was by clearing out every space on the playing field. As you made a match of three, the spaces behind it would turn from gold to brown, and as you managed to change every space in the playing field, uh, you were actually able to win the game. It might seem like a subtle change to you if you haven't played it, but it actually made it a very different play experience. Suddenly, it wasn't just about kind of playing until there were no more moves and then you lost. There was actually a win condition to the game, and it sometimes made you play strategically and made you play in ways you might not normally play Bejeweled. And this ended up being such a successful mechanic that, well, pretty soon there were a whole bunch of blatant Jewel Quest clones as well. And then a few years after this, a game you're probably familiar with, uh, Puzzle Quest came out. And this, again, had the very same mechanic as... Uh, these other match three games, but it added a couple of twists that, again, changed the way that you approach the game. You know, by matching different types of objects, you got different effects in the game, and this whole idea of playing against a computer player made you plan out your moves differently. Suddenly, making one move to set up a great combo wasn't necessarily the best idea if your computer opponent was going to get that combo. And so again, you know, sort of very interesting take on the genre. And then just recently, the guys at PopCap came up with their own twist on Bejeweled, which was, hey, let's have people play for a minute and compare scores against their friends on Facebook. And I will admit, I've spent more time playing this game than I probably should have. And so what you end up with is uh, four games here that all have taken pretty much the same kind of mechanic and added twists to them that might not seem significant to an outsider at first, but give you very different play mechanics as a player and really kind of invigorate the genre and, and make it feel fresh again. It's definitely the kind of twist our friend M. Knight would be a fan of if he weren't dead from the beginning. <gasps> yeah, that's right. You didn't see that coming. Uh, but anyway, back to our game. Now, I suppose you could argue that Peggle itself is a twist on a popular mechanic, that being uh, the, the Pachinko game. It's just that they've changed the way... Uh, the pegs react after they've been hit, and it's changed the win mechanic for these games so that there's actually a set goal towards winning a level instead of sort of a crazy score meter combination slot machine thing that I still don't completely understand, um, maybe because I don't speak Japanese. And so with that in mind, maybe let's look at adding a twist to our Peggle game so that we end up with a mechanic that is a little different and gives you a slightly different play pattern than just plain old Peggle. Now this is really just going to be a bunch of experimenting and I don't know if any of this is going to be any good. I mean if I had come up with a really good Peggle clone already I'd probably be producing it and not sharing it with any of you guys. You know, patent pending. But what I can do is show you how easy it is to start experimenting with some of these things in Box 2D and hopefully inspire you to start creating some of your own twists on the Peggle mechanic so that at least if I go on to Congregate next week, I'll see 20 interesting variations on Peggle instead of 20 Peggle clones. So with that intro um, that I hope wasn't too preachy, let's look at making our own twist on a Peggle game.